Hello, my name is Joel White, Senior Product Manager for IP Cameras with American Dynamics. Thank you for joining me. This video will cover the setup and configuration of an Illustraflex IP camera. The Illustraflex product line includes 1 and 3 megapixel indoor domes, outdoor domes, box cameras, and bullet cameras. The setup for Flex is very similar across all the camera form factors. In this video, I'll be using a 1 megapixel outdoor dome for my demonstration. First step is to actually to connect a camera to a network and then I'm using Illustra Connect to find and locate all the cameras I have on my network. Uh, as you can see it's found five or six cameras. Uh, the camera we're going to look at today is the Illustra Flex 1 megapixel outdoor dome. The default address of the camera is always going to be 192.168.1.168 and from within Illustra Connect I can double click on that camera and it will bring up a preview window to show me a snapshot of what that camera is looking at. There's my snapshot and you'll get some details about the camera MAC address, serial number, uh, its IP address and so on. Also from within Illustra Connect I'm going to close this and I'm going to simply right click and I'm going to configure network. I prefer to use DHCP on my cameras. Simply make that selection, click OK, and the camera is now going to reset and find a DHCP address. So since I've reset the camera's IP address, it's going to pick up a dynamic address. I'll hit refresh, and as you can see, my camera is now on a new IP address that it picked up from the DHCP server. Illustra Connect also includes a list of very powerful features when installing and configuring cameras. As you saw, I just configured one camera in my system, but let's say for example I installed 20 cameras, I can select all 20, set them all to DHCP in a batch command, or provide a range of IP addresses and the cameras will be set automatically through Illustra Connect using that range of IP addresses. There are many other settings options that can be controlled and configured through Illustra Connect, so it's a powerful tool when installing and configuring cameras. Next I'm going to log on to the camera's web page or a camera GUI as we call it by inputting the IP address we found with Illustra Connect and you can see uh, the camera web page will open. I've already been on this web page once so I did not have to input the ID and password but the password is of course user configurable out of the box the default password is admin admin all lowercase. So you can see uh, the flex camera I'm using the one megapixel camera is capable of triple streaming there are three streaming profiles set up I have full control to change those streams as I see fit. Uh, you, wide range of resolutions on the streams and, and one thing to note in the Flex product line that the streaming profiles and the ability to triple stream is really dependent on what's being done with that first stream. So for example on a 3 megapixel Flex camera if you were to configure the first stream at the max resolution max frame rate the other streams will have limited capabilities in that configuration so uh, the streams get defined I simply save my profile and I'm done uh, I can then move on to numerous additional settings within the interface uh, there are controls for white balance day night controls as well as within this screen I can choose variable bitrate or constant bitrate. Uh, it's really up to me how I best want to use the camera on my system. Uh, there's abilities to draw areas over the scene to create privacy zones. There are eight available within the Flex products. A full network settings menu which allow me to not only name my camera, use on-screen display, for date and time as well as camera name and those options are again up to me I can choose to have those on or off save those configurations and then of course set up FTP uh, there are numerous system settings available to control date and time audio formats do firmware updates as well as uh, configuration of the cameras and 
uh, the ability to reset the cameras to uh, call it factory defaults and other options. Under the events menu, of course, uh, I've already done this. I've drawn a motion zone. Uh, the motion zones are simple to configure. I can enable them either on or off. There it's off. I'll turn it back on. I can have high, medium, or low sensitivity. And of course, save my configuration as far as the motion zone goes. Under the alarms menu, uh, the flex cameras do have alarm I.O. allowing for alarm inputs. I can turn the inputs on and I can set up those triggers uh, based on the alarm contacts. On the recording menu, there are many options. Uh, I can set to record on motion. I can set recording parameters. I can set up schedules. I can uh, tell the camera to store onto the local SD card. So there's multiple options on recording and recording configuration. I can also use the SMTP control to have the camera email out. Uh, and here you can see how I have the ability to uh, control the SD card recording. Uh, right now I have no SD card in this camera, so I don't have the ability to turn that on. That's really the, the range of features available within the user interface. I'm going to quick pop out to Live View and give you a look at what's available within Live View. There you see my full uh, 720p video, uh, the overlays I turned on for date and time, and of course I can go to Stream 2 and Stream 3 as well as grab a snapshot. What you will find with the Illustra Flex line across the various 1 and 3 megapixel models in uh, box, bullet, indoor, outdoor dome is the user interface, the controls in the, in the web pages are all very, very similar. In fact, uh, they're, they're identical except for where features may differ from one camera to another. So once you've learned one camera in the line, very simple to learn all of the others. Uh, now, should you want to add them to an NVR, uh, I've got a version of Video Edge running here, but for Video Edge or Exact Vision Systems, very much similar. Uh, you run Camera Discovery. Uh, you would select the device, and there is my camera. Uh, it's number 29, and simply click Add or Import to the NVR, and that's all there is to it. That camera will be now added and can be controlled and configured from the recorder side as well. If you're on an exact vision system, adding a flex camera is just as easy. Can be done using either camera discovery or adding as a new device using the camera's IP address. When adding an Illustra Flex camera on an exact vision system, make sure that the correct camera driver or camera handler is being used. It's Illustra Flex in the camera driver pull down list. That covers everything I had. Thank you for your time. I hope the information was valuable to you.